too, just in case for some reason if we get later and CP CPA doesn't have a quorum, I'll run over. Okay. <laughs> we have a quorum here. <laughs> sometimes sometimes it's hard to get quorum. So I sent DMD saw and said, I'm going to another meeting, but if you get stuck with quorum, send me a text. <laughs> Oh, do you, are you going to go see Andy Morris Freeman? I was going to go over after this meeting because it All starts right. at 6.30. So he, he left a notebook in my office this afternoon. He, he's so kind sure. to take it over there. Of course. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, so are we looking at 6.7 million requests in <laughs> 2020? 2.9 million? Is that what you're seeing? That's what yeah, I'm seeing. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think we're going to be doing all of that. I see a 6-7, too. Right here. I see a 6-7. My eyes are open. Oh, my goodness. So, so if you go to right here. I want the page to be on there. Page. I see a 6-7. Yeah. Oop. Yeah, 6-7. And then a 2-9 on the first page, but then there's a 6-7. Let's use a formula issue so we'll be tidy up. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> where are you? Where are you? Six, six, okay. formula oh, issues. I got to keep going. Yeah, so That's what it was. I see. Four. Thank you. Yeah. At the bottom there, there's okay. some formula issues that we need to straighten out. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> well, the totals, yeah. the grand total column. Huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the total was just too much. Well, let's talk a little bit about where we are at this point. Okay, so we don't have free cash certified yet, but it's looking good. Uh, I'm thinking that there's going to be a surplus of free cash somewhere in the neighborhood of $75,000 as mm -hmm. a minimum, which we can transfer over to the capital yeah. stabilization account. Um, there's some hope that that number is going to drift north of there, um, and that um, we should have um, a tolerable amount of money for our capital plan for FY 2020. Um, we have a new DPW director. He's sort of redone, rethought his capital plan. Uh, we have Marlowe's from last year, so a number of things are different. Um, and there's a lot more money on the table that's being requested. Or there's a request for a lot of money to be on the table. So we need to look at that pretty closely. All right. Hey, David, when you say surplus free cash, does that mean that's not the free cash figure? It's, it's like right. spoken so, for free so cash? The, the capital, the, the, the budget plan that I submitted back in February used the number of six hundred and fifty thousand dollars of free cash. Mm -hmm. A sizable amount of that was going to be used for the operating budget, both the one time expenses contained <coughs> within as well as the recurring expenses. And if you remember the select board adopted a policy of dropping that recurring expense use of free cash by seventy five thousand dollars per year until that recurring is no longer being supported mm -hmm. by free cash. It's only it's a very smart thing to do. There's a couple of years back we, we started that, um, that uh, policy. Last year when we had to take on the ambulance, we had to suspend that policy. So this year I'm getting us back on track and a little bit more so we should have dropped the reliance on free cash for recurring revenue by for recurring expenses by 75,000, I dropped, I scaled that to $133,000. So it's pr pretty aggressive with the free cash reduction. That leaves at the end of the day $75,000 for free cash for capital at a minimum. Okay. So uh, what is the, the real free cash? Figure will be about six or seven. Yeah, so six fifty right now is a very safe. Six fifty, and yeah. when do you guys think? What what year do you project that you'll totally be weaned off of the you know, balance of the budget with free cash? 
But you're doing that for 75000 a year? Yeah, if we can keep it going, then we should be off of free cash for recurring expenses within the budget in three years. Three years? Yeah, if we can keep our current pace. Now we'll continue to use free cash for one-time expenses such as the OPEP, such as the right. unfunded liability within the pension, such as the reserve fund, mm -hmm. um, and other one-time expenses like that. Okay. Yeah, I know this is like way, way off what we do for our, our position, but have you had any discussion with the clog about possibly have you assumed any uh, pension liabilities for their employees? Yes, so there's a couple of things. All right, so the total pension liability, unfunded pension liability for all the members within the Hampshire um, retirement system is $191 million. All right, Hadley represents 5.28% of the total budget. For the for the system, so that means a large share of that 191 is somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 million dollars. That we're on a pay down uh, schedule, 15 years. So in 15 years, that should be um, paid down. We also had an early retirement uh, back in 2003 before my time, oh, yeah. and that comes to. $19,001 per year of unfunded liability, which we are applying free cash towards. <coughs> well, what's that? What was that? I don't know. You know, I'm thinking more of the deep cog that's going out, that's dissolving. Yeah, so. You know, rather than the county system as a whole. Yeah, so the cog doesn't have a member. They're not members of the retirement system. They run oh, their yeah. own retirement. I believe the uh, cog is in the Hampshire retirement. Okay. Aren't they part of it? Wasn't that part of what we were concerned about? Oh, well, that's right, because yes. you didn't make their payment. Right. right. Okay. Right. And right. That, there's been some right. talk about having to assume, even if you're not a member anymore, right. assume we're the hoping, unfunded yeah. pension liability for those employees in the event or when it goes, and there is when it still dissolves. The hope that the state will take that over. Yeah, there's pending legislation. Take over there. The, the, the yeah, H that's really what I was two Oh, that's what retirement. I thought you were answering. I'm like, yeah. wow, those are big numbers yeah, for that. That's what yeah. I was thinking. <laughs> and it's, it sounds like the entire county. <laughs> yeah, it's the entire county. I was quoting oh. those numbers. OK. So if that legislation doesn't pass, so, is there yes. any estimate yet? Has, have they done anything yet? Huh. Is there an actuary to see what? they would be on the hook for. And again, I know this isn't about capital. But no, I don't think it's been calculated by Tom. We just know what rough percentage we have mm -hmm. our interest in the entire fund, and um, we assume that a liability had to be spent up about uh, spent among all of the members that it would be a similar percentage. So That's the best sort of five percent rough. It's our best sort of rough estimate, isn't it, David? I don't know how to get any better than that. I mean, it's just going to be part of the. Uh, a hole in the fund that yeah, the rest of us would need to fill. Some type of methodology for apportioning that too. Yeah, I think I think that people would be very careful about that, uh, assuming that the liability for HCG accrues to the other towns, whether they're members or not, because that creates a very difficult uh, uh, precedent. That let's say that um, the town of Ripton decides, hey, well, why, why should we pay our retirement uh, assessment? You know, we'll just not make the payment, and everybody else will pick up the tab. So I'm pretty sure they don't want to create that kind of mm -hmm. precedent. Right. Yeah. Right. I hope not. I hope the right, legislation right. goes through. But then their rationale could be, we we were here to serve the entire county. Were a member at the time. It's similar to when towns pull out of a school district, they're no longer liable or no longer responsible to pay any operating costs going forward, but they have to pay the debt service mm -hmm. that 
that was in existence at the time they pulled out until it's fully so extinguished. Well, you're certainly are hopeful that the state will take over the county's chair. Yeah. And make that payment. I would hope so. Yes. We all we all hope so. <sighs> Not just happened in every town in the county. There's some uh, hope, there's some hope that the state will do that. They've been pretty um, generous. They've got a lot of money right now. Mm -hmm. Next year's an election year, so there's going to be even more on the table. So, uh, was, is it possible that they were just going to take those employees into the state system? Could, could yeah, very which well. is another option mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. So yeah. continuing to pay in and assume the liability that they would take it. That they would take the responsibility. Yeah, the funding liability. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think that's part of what they did with. Um, Former county's employees in Franklin County, yeah. the yeah. FERCOG, they were able to shift that burden from FERCOG and the municipalities over to the state. So yeah. Yeah. they'll probably be looking at that same path. Um, so DPW in particular came in with a lot of uh, asks that I wasn't thinking that we would see. Um, Fire department is no slouch. <laughs> no. Um, DPW uh, facility at a uh, uh, million five is probably something they want to think long and hard about before giving our approval to. That's cheap compared to what we've been paying. Yeah, so let's it sounds old. Well, it wouldn't be replacing the garage. It's for the office building. Are you talking about the DBW facility? Yeah, yeah it would not. Um, I don't believe that replaces the garage. They're replacing the office building. Those portables? Uh, well, the, uh, yes, the portable tra the trailers. Mm -hmm. this, isn't that just? Replacing not just, but it's for replacing those trailers, but it's leaving the garages intact and the rest of the buildings there. I actually don't know. Okay. I think that's why if you're thinking it seems low. I think that's on this. I don't see which I um, talked to someone about. So, I'm on the trucks. We we buy a lot of trucks, it seems like a lot. We do, yeah. mm -hmm. Now, my understanding is the stuff that they're putting on the roads. Right, the pre stuff yeah. that's great because then we don't have to put sand down on the roads, which means we don't have to clean up the sand, which is great, and that's all good. But the stuff is pretty strong stuff that they're putting down on the road, not right? Just with cars. Right, so not it, for cars. so it's it really does a, a toll on these trucks, right? Oh yeah. So why my understanding is one of the things we're supposed to be looking at is a wash bay to oh, yeah. wash the trucks, yeah. so that these trucks can last longer. How are you all? Hey, Chris. Yeah, sorry, I'm late. That's all right. Hi, how are you doing? Oh, he busy. just ran over here. He came down on his <laughs> motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> the motor sorry, my motorcycle. Is, everything is crazy, but. Okay. Three so, guys out. Here, one of each. Here you go. One. So, can we ask Chris about that? I think they were talking about that last year. Okay. Not what? So, the Chris, I, I oh, mentioned, yeah. I see we buy a lot of trucks all the time. Yeah. It seems like that's the thing we do. Oh, yeah. And one of the things yeah. is that the stuff that they put out on the roads for to pre-treat the roads before an ice storm, which is great, it, it, so we don't put the sand down and pick it up. That's great. But the problem is, is it eats away at the trucks, right, because it's strong stuff. Oh, yeah. Right, so why, someone said, or we were, you know, I talked to someone, they're like, oh, we're supposed to be getting a wash basin or whatever you do to wash the trucks yeah. to save wash bay wash bay yeah, yeah. <laughs> whatever <laughs> basin <laughs> it's not a dog <laughs> jump right in here. Uh. <laughs> yeah so i would Good think job. that would be something that would be important and i would like to see something like that before we start buying more trucks yeah. to see if we can keep some of the ones we have to last okay. yeah, that's good idea. i think part of it too was that that's None of the current DPW buildings have the space for a wash bay. Okay. And so it gets into that bigger question of when are we going to do something with the actual DPW and have a capital project to the DPW facility. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what 
we're opening ourselves up for with that type of question. Which is, I think, that, which something... Which is where we started, actually. Right, and yeah. that's where I was getting I, I, that, I, I, too, because yeah. that is something we absolutely, I think, would be more important and, and something that you need to focus on is... Because that keeps getting pushed off, pushed off, pushed off, pushed off. Yeah. That's, it's huge. I, I mean, I took a tour of that place. Oh. And I, I wouldn't sit in there for a minute. Mm. <laughs> it's, 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 that's not fair to the employees to have them go there and have to be able to eat their lunch in there and sit there. It's not, it's not in good condition. Yeah. No, definitely. Oh, they have DPW facility there. Oh, that's on the... It's the last item. Yeah, for 2020. So, yeah. So I. I mean, that's a big item. Mm-hmm. That is there, and that Oops, I think yeah. in that lot. Well, I don't know what's in there. That's not a good breakdown, but a wash bay might be in there. I don't know. Yeah. We Depending on what we needed last year. Yeah. We? Yeah. Anyway, mm -hmm. that's what I remember from conversations with various people about the facility there yeah I just which I, I feel like personally I feel like we need to do something there because sooner or later something's gonna fall apart or fail or somebody's gonna fall through the floor oh and yeah that, then we're gonna have a million dollar lawsuit that we could have used to put toward a new facility you know I think that facility, facility you know, is huge oh, okay well I'm just saying God knows like, yeah. what will happen there you yeah know? oh I think that's a that's a definite thing that's nice well, the cameras back there okay <laughs> to ble be addressed right Any, away yeah um, as far as the trucks go, we, we do a lot of trucks. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> no, we do them all the time. Seems like we do a lot. Yeah. I like to see, yeah. put those to the side. So, Chris, I think the, the thing I was wondering is um, who do you want to see, when do you want to see them? Um, we have to, what's, our de what's our schedule look like? What's our deadline? Um, well, you have until, for something to be on the warrant, yep. we need to be posting that no later than, say, the 9th of October. To give us a meeting, alternatively scheduled for. Yeah. We, have, we have time set aside for you for next Monday at 5.30. When is the meeting? The, uh, the time? Yeah. Uh, 10, uh, 10.24. It's on your own. You have a warrant there. Oh, okay. So 10-9 is when we're going to close the warrant finally. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we don't have a lot of time. We can, we can have a recommendation pending and make that recommendation from the floor. So we have a little bit more time. But yeah, there's a lot here. Ideally, a lot of time nice to have it done. Oh, yeah. yeah it's never... Ideally. I did not like when we d we did that once with finance. I did not like that yeah. at all. Yeah, it just it just didn't seem. It wasn't on paper. It was it's like you're springing it on the people. Yeah. Uh, um. I'm just looking at them all here. Well, DPW is probably, it would be good to have DPW and there's nothing here from municipal building, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Or do we have something and I'm just yeah. not seeing it. Page four, you're going to see one. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. I was wondering where that was. Yeah. So it would probably be good to have DPW and municipal building <coughs> at least see them at the same time because of I find a lot of their stuff overlaps, but it also looks like public safety might overlap with municipal building as well. Not as much of it as it was last year. Yeah. <coughs> Bring school in a few as well, because they've been a lot of changes. And with DPW, you have water and sewer included too. Yeah. So it's yeah. almost like you're doing three. I mean, do we have one meeting where, 
I'm just thinking we probably have time for one or two meetings in the next month, essentially. Well, we have the 16th, the 23rd, and the 30th. Yep. Those are the next Mondays in September. Yes. I, um, I can do any of them. Yeah, I, I, the 16th and 23rd, I should be able to do the 30th. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to just line them up? I, I can't do the 16th at all, but the, anything after that I can. 23rd, I'll, I'll be here, but only for like 25 minutes. I'll have to leave at 6. Church Finance Council. I can't allow that. And I don't want to get that guy out, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, do we want to? So I could be, I could show up. I'll be there on the 23rd, but I'll bail out. Okay. And then do we want to have a meeting on the 30th? Just sure. do we want to do the 16th and 23rd? See if we could do, who do, you get, who do we want to do first? Recommend DPW and the yeah. school building committee and the school. At the first? All at the Once. first. That'll okay. Be kind of, uh, there'll be a lot there. That'll be full. Uh, and then the 23rd, have police and fire. And any others? And then the 30th meet and kind of come up with our recommendation. Sounds like a plan. plan. So the, the first one is going to be DPW Ministry Building Committee and School. And then Police, and Fire, school. and everybody else. And Police. Police, Fire, yeah, it looks like Assessors, Council on Aging, Board of Health, Cemetery, Hadley Media. Agricultural Commission, Conservation Select Board of Governors and Computers. Don't need cemetery because that's CPA and that's not part of our work. Oh, that's not part of that's CPA. Okay, mm -hmm. I didn't see that over there. I just saw it on here. Vehicle on here, and it's just the top one. It's oh, 2024. Never mind, yeah. it's out there. I'm yeah. like, we just did that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did a couple double takes like that. Wait, like 40,000 for computers? Oh, that's working up in several years. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I see. Okay, so starting with the fifth page, you if you just want to see fiscal 20, that would be. Yeah. There's a page for each year, right? Yeah. <laughs> that does look a little better. <laughs> I mean, the big one I see is the DPW facility, and that one is just scary because we have all the other projects going on right now and how the town meeting feel and that fit into borrowing and everything else. I mean, as much as I think that's important. I know, but all we do is have to show a, a video of it and then <laughs> <laughs> you put a video up there of yeah. this is what it is. Because it, oh my goodness, I vote for that. Yeah. But the other thing is the year we vote for it is how many years off for the year that we borrow or break down. Break, uh, yeah. break ground. It's yeah. like three years out is about, though. Isn't that how it is yeah, going? The procurement, the procurement alone is going to take you half a year. Right. And just the, so. this getting an OPM and a designer and figuring out what we're going to do. They yeah. for a year or whatever. Right. Well, and even um, even before we get to that, it takes a long time to, to get through town meeting and then the ballot vote and then just the planning the design, design stage planning was so design. long. You spend at least a year on the design and back and forth, mm -hmm. as I recall. And then, mm -hmm. yeah, just. And at least we'll find out from him what exactly is in 
included in that one mm -hmm. of the next one. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm meeting with him tomorrow morning at like 10 o'clock, so we'll just go over this and make sure that he's prepped so that he can address each point efficiently. Mm -hmm. A vector truck. That's a big vacuum. Storm drain. Oh, it's a vacuum. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's what it is, but it's a truck. It's like, think of a backpack mounted vacuum or a central vac, and size it up to the size of a truck. <laughs> Storm drains, yeah. Oh, is that what it does? Yeah. And the up. sewers and everything we use Don't it we, for, yeah. Do we have one? We do. Oh. It's, so it's a replacement for Yeah, it's old and, uh, and it's something it's an where- It's old vacuum, and we need a new vacuum. Chris wants to do <laughs> stuff like that because he, we spend a lot right now for contractors just to do that kind of thing, and he thinks if we bring it in-house, it will lower the overall cost, and we'd have those things on hand in case of an emergency as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's kind of what he'd like to do. Is that the truck that he would prefer to the one that's already been approved and we haven't bought? Okay. Yeah, so remember we'll be we were coming gonna... back. Of that, so that would, be, that would mean 180000 back into sewer impact? Is that what is that? I what think we, so. Yeah. I, I think, think so. it's 140. 140? Okay. Yeah. We did 140. Okay. And uh, that yeah. plays into the other discussion that we're having of different use of the sewer impact. So right away we would be getting that much money back in because he wants to use, um, he, wants, he wants a different truck, which he thinks would be more um, effective. It would be more expensive. That's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that was, originally we are going to get a, a used one essentially or you know like yeah yeah and then, but but then we're gonna but then we're gonna also wanna so I see that truck and then he wants a house for that truck that's an expensive house I'd rather house yeah. the people <laughs> yeah before I start housing a truck yeah <laughs> and a wash bay <laughs> yeah so we approve everything out here yeah we're looking at 4.8 million Borrowing? Is that borrowing or is that CPA? Or are those formulas? Is that part it's, of that deal too? Oh, oh, that is borrowing. That's borrowing. Like that exclusion borrowing. borrowing. So I wondered if maybe Linda could talk to David and see if he could do an estimate of what this would cost for the average taxpayer too. If this all went through. Well, yeah. Um, or do we wait? Yeah, I think you want to hear your presentations first. Don't, don't you think? I mean, if you knock some things out, yeah. if they get put off yeah. or to another yeah. year, then they, they, mm -hmm. they don't need to go into it yeah. at this yeah. point. True. What are, we, what are our needs versus what are... Everybody has a want list. Some of that might be able to be spread out over the other years, where, which you see are a lot lighter. Um, because the idea of this one is we get people's requests in, that they're not just making a request for this year, they're making a request for the next 10 years. Yeah, so it, we should not be surprised. Now, when you have a, a change in department head, that's, that, or then we're going to probably be looking at a different focus, and that makes sense. But if, um, Chris, for example, we keep mentioning him, but he, if he has got his 10-year plan, um, then we should already know where we're going to be for fiscal 21, which you see has less than a million dollars in borrowing. Fiscal 22, two million, 23, one and a half. So when we look at the borrowing and what this is going to cost, we kind of have to look at the whole next five years together because mm -hmm. we don't borrow this year, this year, and then the next year is the next, especially if it's a building right. we're borrowing a few years out. Yeah. And there's duplicates on here too, you know, municipal building committee, I always look at them because sometimes they duplicate it as they've got town hall security system, but then under DPW we have right. buildings, locks and installation and cameras and security, so that would be kind of the same. We'll do some back and forth. These requests yeah. just came in last week and you just mm -hmm. got them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll spend some That's time. That's why it's always yeah. good to have them at the same time so we can sit down and see where there's overlap and and all these borrowing articles and, that are listed are at the gross amount, the total. Mm -hmm. Okay. For each individual year. So, yeah, that, that gets spread out over right. whichever the term yeah. is. Mm -hmm. 
So that number is actually much higher, what we're seeing today, than what it would end up being. Averaged out, and then they're Averaged also, out, right. yeah. so we're also paying off a um, million dollars every year, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. A million dollars coming off, we're putting the rest right. on. In the in, in in the water, they have a, a truck in here. They have a truck listed in the water. Uh, F three fifty. That yeah. Truck. Now, don't they use the DPW trucks? Do you have to have a special truck just for, like, when the sewer needs a truck? They don't use the deep. I mean, you know, they have a special one that just is only for. Yeah, they have like water trucks and sewer trucks and highway trucks. Everybody wants their own vehicle. Well, they do have different purposes. But they do yeah, use different they, things. They do different yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, I, I just didn't know what kind of truck, you it's know, if it's a special ask. truck. Because that's where we get in the, you know, it seems like a lot of our capital, and, and, and too, this would be borrowing, and I'm wondering, because we got in, into trouble using, taking out of um, reserves out of the sewer, right? Now, this is borrowing, I guess, right? We're not taking out of reserves for the water. The well, water is in better shape than... I know, but we don't want to get that in bad shape. <laughs> yeah. Type of thing. Water. Because they have... Yeah, the truck is being borrowed. It's in under the debt exclusion. It's not like we're taking it out of water reserves. Um, um, I don't know. One of them is split between the three, though, Amy. Oh, is, is that it? What you're at the back of the truck? Yeah. Yeah. Once we vote on, or not we vote, but when we get close to it, when we decide what we're going to do, which ones are in and out, is it possible then to get David Eisenfeld to do something up so that we can see what each year would actually cost? Because what we're looking at now is actually gross amounts mm -hmm. that are being requested in this, phys in this fiscal year yeah. versus what would actually be expended. I don't know if I'm making any sense or I can, not. I can go to the assessors. They can do that for us. You know, like a 10 year, if it's 100 yeah, grand, it's 10,000 yeah. a year. It is really important to do over several years. Right. The, the, and and sure not, just, not just a year at a time, because in truth, that's just not how we borrow, and that's not how we, the, how we pay it back. Right. So, um, yes, we definitely there's something that we can do. I um, have. I'd like to be at a point before we pull David Eisenfeld in that we that something has been recommended and it's clear to the capital planning committee we're really going to go for it and and then see where it is because you know when we say oh no we're going to pull this one off can you try it? can you do it for us again and he's done a number of calculations for us at one point and I think we have to um, set our own plans and make decide what's important and then when we get to that point we pull him in and say how to how is the best way for shake us to, out. to how does it yeah. shake out over the next five mm -hmm. years? So we have we have debt payment like this and we add in. So we could say one of these things is gonna cost five dollars a year for each household. Well we actually don't know that because we may be able to feather it into the uh, declining Debt schedule. Freed up debt capacity. Yeah, so yeah. it may not yeah. have any impact. Correct. So, but we don't know that at this point. Right. So yeah, and I was, it's I'm a just, moving target. You know, if we look at water debt, for example, that debt service has been going down. So, theoretically, there there would be capacity for mm -hmm. to take on a little more debt in water to do things. Right. Mm -hmm. Sort of like. I've been kind of operating under the assumption that people are interested in how what how their tax is going to be impacted next year as exactly. opposed to this year. Exactly. That there's a comparison. Is it going to go up? Is it going to go down? The exact cost of a particular item, if it fits in and doesn't make it go up, make the tax go up, is not as much of an issue as to how much is something going to. Now, with this level of borrowing, there's no question that there's going to be some increases. And I think that's the figure we really want. Exactly. That's the, the impact of it in that way. When you say how much it's going to cost and how much per household, what they do is take that and they put it on top of what they're paying now. It's not right. necessarily going to play it's that way. Yeah. Against what's being freed up. 
Right. Yeah. So, right. so I don't want to start with the scary part if that's not really way, how it's going right. to play out. Let's uh, start with the needs, and if that's something that we're ready to address and push them off or deal with them as quickly as soon as we need to, or push them off if they can be, and then we get then we will mm -hmm. apply our formulas and come up with a graph. Based on what the assessors tell us, each which would, how it would impact. But we have, I think, a lot of work to do before we get to the assessors. And that would be the gross impact. I mean, you're going to net it out, like you're saying, too, mm -hmm. against whatever's freed up. Mm -hmm. Like a portion it out for each project. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, under capital stabilization, um, how much do we have in there now? Five grand, something like yeah, that. Yeah, not much. And, yeah, and you're saying transferring. so five grand, and from free cash, you're thinking we can transfer seventy five. At least seventy five. So that's eighty thousand, but we got two hundred and thirty five thousand here. So yeah. some of that's going to have to. Ten pounds of potatoes in a five pound bag. <laughs> <laughs> so any idea when we're going to have those free cash numbers? We should be getting that very shortly. Okay. So hopefully we'll have that before at least the thirtieth, if put, not sooner. I'll put, the, I'll put the pressure on the account. Okay. Mm -hmm. you guys want to go over now do we want to schedule our next two meetings three meetings so next next three Mondays we'll meet same time same place mm -hmm. same so I'll try to be on time I should be able to do it yeah, try to do a little better this time yeah <laughs> <laughs> pick you up next time on my way yeah yeah driving right by I was house. I was in West Springfield so that was the problem getting back Oh, that's a long bike ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wonder, yeah. I, I had to drop my, all my <laughs> vehicles. Is this the conservation? <coughs> it isn't. I don't know where they meet. Uh, the office is the Golden Court. Oh, Golden Court. Oh, and we are oh CPA. CPA. Golden Court, 630. Uh, how can we? Follow this lady. <laughs> yeah, she will be having She's a going, yeah. but it is through the yes. intersection. And uh, Gold Court is uh, right up route here. The second, right. the second driveway. First, right yeah. before the bike. The first path. road on your right. There's okay. a street four sign. Forty seven. Gold Court. That, okay, that isn't a public building driveway. Okay. Yeah, it's easy it's to miss good. though. Yeah. So if you go, you cross the bike path, you've gone too far. Okay. It's right before it's just, there. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. All right, so there's obviously some errors on the front page, so I'll clean those up and get this out to you electronically. Uh, do thing. Yeah, the error is six point something million. <laughs> <laughs> In your dreams. I don't, six point seven million. That's a big error. <laughs> yeah. Let that go away. All right. Sounds All right. like sounds like the next three Mondays we're having a rock and roll time. Sure. And um, yeah. I appreciate everybody taking yeah. the time out of their busy schedules to meet once again to look forward look to the future of Hadley and making sure we have put the right investments together. Yeah. So that, uh, I need to kind of talk. Uh, just one yes. more quick question, David. Yes, the, um, the sewer lining and repairs, we have under sewer impact, yeah. and that is, I thought we would have 245000 in that one, right? right? Yeah. Okay, and then if we take out 130000 which we may do to pay off some stuff to, to help with that, that might be an issue. Yeah, so we have the 140 in that old uh, septic truck that we didn't buy, so we can return that to oh, sewer. Oh, so that won't be able to help with the, the vector. Well, I mean, it, it's all one big pocket, isn't it? Now we no, oh yeah, well, okay, because I see where they're taking it from there. Never mind. Yeah. Because you gotta. Because you, I was gonna say if if, but you're taking you're you're not taking our sewer impact fees. Okay. Yeah. So plus one forty. So minus one. 
So the 100,000 for sewer line um, repairs, that's kind of like a planning number. It's not a real request from DPW. Oh. It's, so that number can be flexible. Sewer lining and repairs then? Oh. Yeah. Right. And now would we, what was the verdict on taking any of that borrowing into debt exclusion or you know capital stabilization as opposed to sewer impact? You're the committee. So You'll talk about it. Just to help release, I mean, I feel like that's a good one. Sewer impact to be used to pay down the debt and the sewer operating budget. Yeah. Um, the future debt in the sewer should be on the tax rate. Um, yeah, tax so rate or the tax user. rate. Tax right. rate. That's something we have talked about because sewer is, that's the one enterprise fund that's having some trouble financially, If you know, just looking at the numbers. And so we're looking, can we transfer any kind of borrowing that we're doing for sewer to the tax basis as opposed to the users of sewer? And the long-term effects is to address the sewer rates. That's what I was, if it's an enterprise fund, it should be self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's the, the tricky part so, is that exactly. it's also a service that helps bolster the town along Route 9 mm -hmm. with those businesses that do benefit the whole town. So it's kind of one of these things where it's something that the town needs to decide what we want to do. Do we want to have some borrowing for sewer from the whole town, the whole tax basis, or do we want to put that but burden, the town so to speak, just does, on the users? And they don't do that, but they do pay for sewer in other ways when they pay for Debt exclusions for capital expenses for like two like part of the Vactor truck <laughs> and the storage of the Vactor truck. There you go. And there you go. I mean, there's a lot of capital expenses that you know that we pay for that don't always just come out of the sewer or water. Yeah, there's a portion. Well, right. If we flip it over on the general fund side, that kind of you know, negates. The of an enterprise fund too. it's supposed to stand on its own two feet and if it doesn't it's time to, like David said it's time to address the rates yeah, there's some issues some would say that it was there to carry on the, it's to carry its operational expenses and not necessarily all of its well, capital expenses so that's debatable right? there you go yeah that's yeah, that's, that's a debate, debate right there there that's it is the debate right there. Yeah. <laughs> so and uh sewer rates are not at a level where they could handle both fully at, at this point um, going forward as you look at these expenses. So again, there's the issue. <laughs> then you hear the, the folks grumbling that aren't on the sewer. We're carrying but my understanding is the rates haven't gone up in 10 backs. years. Right, that's, mm -hmm. well, there you go. Yeah. We, did, we did increase them a little bit last, last year. May, two Mays ago. But uh, your expenses increase every year. Yes. But we haven't been keeping up with the rate increases. Yes. Yeah. This yeah. is true. You're, which, you're correct. Which then we do get, the people get a hefty, really hefty impact fee, which is yeah. something they're talking about. But that covers, could be covering capital items. Yeah. Not, yeah. not your everyday stuff, and that's why that's in a separate account. So even the sewer usage fee that, that's should separate. be generating enough revenue to pay for the capital items, too. Operating, operating yeah. expenses. Right. And the sewer impact does, uh, has always been dedicated to capital items. Yeah. Not, not the operation. No. Yeah. And I think that, um, too, down the road, and I don't know when it'll come out, but it did. we did talk about it at one meeting prior, that the levels, because when we changed the, um, from quarterly to, or semi-annually to quarterly, yeah. Instead of everybody's, it went down because before you were paying at one cubic level, right? So you're at one level because you're using all this and you're paying like, it's, it's like you're at a higher tax rate because, and then when you separate it, now you're, um, this is how much you're using mm -hmm. of sewer. So now you're paying less. Do you follow yeah, me? Did, because we, we didn't divide those so numbers in half. Because you didn't, didn't adjust, adjust the, they didn't adjust the levels. The uh, sliding scale. The sliding scale. 
Yes. Hmm. I don't know how to explain huh. that properly, but if you saying. figured it yeah, out from yeah, that, yeah. good for you. <laughs> I know what you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's like if you use 10,000 yes. cubic feet, you pay yes. a dollar so if you pay. Under and lower, right? Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. and that needs to be adjusted. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I thought that would have happened. Why the what? Certainly should. Mm -hmm. So I, no, mean, I wasn't aware of that, actually. So I think those are. Um, you let the cat out of the bag. Yeah. Oh, like, bring that up. Hey. A whole bag of work. <laughs> Mark talked about. Super. I'm not the smart one to figure that one out. It wasn't me. I have to give that to <laughs> a collector. They, they're the ones that know all this stuff. <laughs> Okay, okay, I just wanted to those bring some issues. of those things yeah. up because yeah. I wanted to make it talked about because I know we are in trouble with the sewer and so yeah. when we see where these buckets are coming from, so these big projects, I wanted to be on top of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, for sure. Okay. Yeah, because we have, like you said, we have $347,000 in capital we're asking out of the sewer enterprise fund, so... Yeah. 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 Raise the rate. Or no, that was water. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sewer water. Is less. But sewer's sewer still. Right? Sewer's sewer. still a lot. Yeah, and so if we're going to take from their their reserve, and they're using some of their reserve to pay for their their operating expense, they're not going to have any reserve. Yeah, no. So, I mean, they don't have the reserve. If, yeah, that's, it's, it's we're going to have to figure out something because I, I don't think we can keep taking from the reserve. Yeah, no, we can't. And, and, and water is, is in good shape. It's in really good shape. But just because it's in good shape, if we just go slamming it, it's not going to be in good shape anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah, We're yeah, going to yeah, end up yeah. with the same spot with water, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully not, but it would could I'm happen. Just yeah, no. Well, we, but we, at the same time, we don't want to not do anything because we're, you no, know, no, we like have to, we do have to find the right balance. Right, yeah. right. We wind up in the problem we had several years ago with yeah. buildings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kicking the can down the road for 30, 40 years. Mm -hmm. We're here to solve the problem. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. We got it. to dish them up. I'm done okay. with questions. Good. Hold on. Yeah.